Hi folks, Tom Gorman here from the Exiles Galway. Just going to make a quick vlog here talking about Fiore's uh, Spada Unamano covers. So he starts off, uh, the Unamano section opens, just showing Fiore in this back weighted stance here, the form of Dente di Cingari. So making it a lot easier for you. Most of the weights in this leg, this one's fairly loose and ready to move. And he says from this guard, we can defend against someone who's about to cut, someone who's about to thrust, and someone who's about to throw the weapon. So what we're going to focus on with this today is the cover. So he explains the footwork quite well uh, with this section as well. He talks about us using an increase and a mezzavolta to step through, or he says to traverse uh, the cut. So when a fendente comes in, we're going to increase and mezzavolta, meeting it with the sword like this. So we're almost in a posta longa just on the different legs. We can go to the inside and the outside with this. So we've demonstrated the inside. So the fendente comes in, I'm going here. From this side, when the cut comes in, I can come over here as well, and I can catch it over on this side. But we're gonna focus mainly on the inside cover. Now, the big thing we wanna do with this, the worst mistake I think you can make with this cover is just meeting it dead straight. Make sure you get offline. So when this cut comes in, if I just come forwards like this, that's not great. This can collapse straight into me if that is a very heavy blow. Or even if it does slide off the blade, it's a bit too close for comfort. I'm still probably gonna get cut from that. So we wanna make sure that we get offline. So the Fendente comes in, and we're over here. This way, if it collapses, it collapses past my side, and that's fine. So let's look at the uh, second play. What he shows from there is we made our cover, and the picture basically just shows this. This is where the picture finishes. It's left leg forwards, right hand's up in the air, and the left hand is holding their sword arm. From here, he says, we can give turn and bring their sword to the ground. So it's a fairly straightforward um, idea, especially if we've done some of the dagger section before. So once again, we step in here. Now, an important point about biomechanics here, because uh, you're not always going to make the perfect cover, but if you're left leg forwards and your left hand, you're going to be a lot stronger on here. So when I make this, I'm going to have a lot more strength in this arm with this leg forwards. So to give you an example, if I do it the other way, when this comes in, if I've just stepped here and I'm on my right leg, this is going to be a lot weaker. So I'm kind of reaching across myself uh, to go for it. This arm's disconnected. So we, there are plays where, when this comes in, that we're over here, and uh, we can basically, when we hit something like this, you step off line, keeping a distance a bit more. For this play, we kind of want to get in tight a bit more, attack it a bit stronger. So I'm aiming to get off line, but step forward strongly. Then, with this hand, we don't want to just do this. That is not what we want to do, because that is still live. I've not controlled it. So, again, the sword comes in. I make my cover. I'm gonna strike the wrist here and give turn to the blade, recovering mine. Now, you may wonder why we don't just strike from the first position that we're in. So when this blade comes in and we're here, you may wonder why we don't just slash across there. One, it's not a great cut, and two, as we do this, if I leave my sword here, this is fairly open for the other person to take control of my blade as well. I'm not recovering my own weapon. I'm controlling theirs, but leaving mine in the middle of nowhere. So instead, if I draw my sword, like go for a second, if I draw my sword back up here, that's much harder for them to advance to try and wrestle you or to grab your blade. And obviously, it's a very straight point in again. Well protected at any point, so I'm good. If that is a bit more oblique, or let's say it's a, a slightly more messana like, yeah, I'm safe the whole time. But the cover's the same, okay? Here, he talks about leopards forward, he talks about aiming to push this to ground, thrust. Yeah, you can cover this way too, which is just basically the same action. Basically the same action. And the evolution of that is this cover, okay? Cut back in. Here, this is the image that it shows with the left hand on the arm, and it talks about cutting and thrusting. So, like we just did with that exercise, the whole principle of this is a control and manipulation of this arm, and different different options for when I've got control of that arm. But it, and again, the arm, it's on, so I'm up, I'm moving into it, getting that on. That is lovely. 